bonjour. Comment allez-vous? <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you, Prime Minister. Thank you, ministers, ambassadors, and entrepreneurs. It's so exciting, especially every time I talk to Prime Minister. We met like five times in the past two years. Every time we discuss about small business, entrepreneurs, and women entrepreneurs, we always feel excited. And this time, I came back to Toronto almost 15 years ago. In the winter, I came to Toronto. And then I, was, uh, I came here with like uh, 10 Chinese internet entrepreneurs and also with a lot of uh, internet guys. At that time, the internet bubble just bursted. So we discussed about the future of the internet. And I was the believer. And I believe e-commerce, I believe the internet, even the internet bubble bursted. Many of my colleagues at that time said they're talking about we should raise more money, change our internet business into real business. And they considered I was the crazy guy. And 15 years later, I am the, the only one came back. Because we believe it. We believe e internet. We believe entrepreneurship. We believe the future. I would love to discuss something about the failures, mistakes we made. The thing I feel most thankful is all the mistakes, all the refuse that I got. Because without that, there would never be Alibaba. In the past 18 years, every day we make mistakes. Every day we were rejected. I think being rejected, being refused by people, that is very natural. Why people should help you? You have to prove yourself. Then people would help you. Alibaba was not made today. Alibaba was made 18 years ago in my apartment. The believing that using internet empower others, using in internet to help young people, small business, and women will have bright future. So it's been 18 years hard working. We came here. <clears throat> today, there are a lot of books about us. I don't read these books because I think these books are not about us. People love to see successful stories, but most of the success stories, they succeed because of the mistakes. I encourage all the young people, entrepreneurs, to learn from the mistakes. Do not study successful stories. Successful, successful stories in the Harvard Business School, normally, you know, there are a lot of things behind you don't know. But if you learn from the mistakes, if you learn, especially the failures case studies, it's going to help you. What I want to say is not about you. You learn from mistakes does not mean you will avoid mistakes. You will learn the attitude towards these mistakes and never give up fighting again. Of course, it's very painful when you are rejected, when you are refused. I went all the around looking for money, nobody gave us the money. I all go around looking for partnerships, nobody believed small business and e-commerce in China would work. I was very painful that day and when I saw one movie, Forrest Gump. <laughs> I love that movie, especially the sentence that mom said, life like a box of chocolate, you never know what you're going to get. So stay full, stay foolish to your dream and continue to fight. So this is what we did. As an entrepreneur, we never complain. When people complain, the opportunity comes. So if you can solve the complaints, that is your opportunity. So I love to, when I talk to the entrepreneurs, I feel excited. When I'm sitting there listen to the, the entrepreneurs talk, I feel inspired. I feel we are the same animal. The difference between big company and small company is not about revenue. It's about the dream. The small companies have the dreams. Most of the big companies, when they get certain size, they only have KPI. So if you fight only for next quarter, how can you survive in such a turbulent times? You have to believe the future. You have to continue to the future. You have to stay focused. As I said to myself early days, if there are nine rabbits on the ground, if you want to catch the rabbit, don't change the rabbit, change yourself, stick to one rabbit. 
If you have the dream, stick to the dream. That is what I believe. So this is what I, I want to say is that Alibaba started 18 years ago. We never changed our dream. We believe e-commerce. We believe internet. We believe by helping young people, helping small business, and helping empower women. We will have the future. The, the difference between last century and this century, the difference between IT and DT is IT empower yourself. DT empower others. When you help others, you are helping yourselves. This is what we believe. 18 years ago, 18 people in my apartment. When we had this dream, when we started, everybody say, you guys are crazy. How can you do e-commerce? No infrastructure, no credit system, no logistics, no this, no that. How could you do in internet? We say, if there's no logistic, let's build it. If there's no credit system, let's build it. That is why we need, they need entrepreneurs. I remember when we launched the Taobao, was funny. When we launched Taobao, we thought we we're gonna have a big business in about one month. But for the first five days, nobody come here even shopping. So the seven colleague employees in my apartment, we have to buy ourselves. He sell, we buy. <laughs> and the first, you know, the first amount when somebody came to sell, no matter whatever he sell, we buy them. <laughs> that would tell the seller, the seller said, well, this thing really can be able to sell. So more people come sell. So we bought a whole house of things garbage. They're no use. <laughs> but at least we build up the trust. We start to sell, we start to learn, and we learn the, the experience of selling. We learn experience of the servicing. Today, from nobody, from nothing, we have got from 18 people to 50,000 people. From no, no, nobody come to sell and buy, we got a 500 million, more than 500 million users. And every day, 200 million people come to sell and buy on the Alibaba site, on the Timo and Taobao. We sell things not by months. We sell things not by day. We sell things by seconds. And this is not only today, this is the future. I want to tell you 10, 20 years later, all these things will be natural. Every day things could be that. If you hit the sweet point, if your product's good, if your service good, your products will have a good sell because they're billion. Today the whole world is about 1.8 billion people online. Right? And only less than like 800 million people shopping online. We believe next to 20 years, they were adding another 3 billion people online. And, and next, in the next 10, 20 years, 60% of the people will shop online. So e-commerce is just a beginning. And we, by selling no, no revenues, and no, nobody come to sell. Last year, we sold 550 billion US dollars. And for one single day, last year, we sold more than 1.8 billion US dollars. Oh no, eight, 18 billion US dollars one day. So this, this thing you can never imagine, but we said 10 years later, every day, we may sell 18 billion dollars. Even at our size today, we still think we are small business because we still have the dreams. We think our mission is helping doing business easier. There are so many small business. There are so many developing countries. There are so many opportunities there. There are so many people still not online shopping, online sales. That we should do. So our dream is to make our company the fifth largest economy online. We think in the future, there will be a virtual economy that will enable every individual, every small business. They can global sell, global buy, global pay, global deliver, and global tour, travel around. This is what we believe. Most people seeing is believing, but real entrepreneurs and leaders, we believe, then we see. We believe the future, then we will see the future. So if you believe that you can do it, 
you should continue to do it and wait and fight for at least 80 years, if not 18 years. The next thing I want to share with you is I think the, the whole world, most of the people in this world much underestimate, underestimate the big impact of this technology is going to bring to the human beings. As I said, when people complain, opportunity comes. The world is, when, when I was young, I complained a lot. I said, hey, you know, Microsoft will take away my job. Oracle take my away our job. Because of IBM, we can never do PCs. So later I realized we should not learn from Bill Gates. We should not learn from Larry Erickson. We should learn from the grandmother next to my door. How can she make her business so good by opening a dumpling shop? Because when you compare yourself to Bill Gates or Jack Ma, you feel frustrated. But if you compare to the next door person, you learn how to do business by details. And human beings today are facing the fifth largest opportunities of human beings. The first technology revolution, 